Salute YouTube. How's everybody doing this morning? Um, I wanted to make kind of a part two to the video I made last night with Sammy the Bull uh, talking about John A. Light. <clears throat> I got a good reaction to that video and everybody seems to be very interested in it. Um, I know Lee Cole is going to be making a video today. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Um, I'm sure his will be uh, pretty elaborate and go, you know, a little more in depth. Um, Mobrass Exposed already made one. Um, I watched a little bit of that, but I didn't get to see the whole thing yet. Um, but my video was just a short one last night where I played the audio and I talked a little bit about it. But there's some stuff I want to add because, you know, you, you start thinking after you do something like that and you think, well, you know, I didn't say this, I didn't say that. Or, you know, you just, you, you know, you start to think about other things that you can add to it. So, um, for everybody who heard the audio, um, Sammy was talking about John A. Light bringing families into, you know, the, his little beefs. Um, he brought John Gotti Jr.'s son into it uh, by trying to get him, you know, to fight another MMA fighter and blah, blah, blah. Um and this is the kind of stuff a light does. I want to remind everybody, you know, who doesn't know that, you know, he brought Vicky or Victoria Gotti, I'm sorry, into this whole thing a long time ago when he claimed, you know, that he had sex with her. I believe he even said this in court that he had a little affair with Victoria Gotti. Uh, while she was married to Carmine Agnello. Now, that's ridiculous for a number of reasons. Uh, I think most people know, but for those who don't, one of the rules in Cosa Nostra, and it applies to, you know, insiders, outsiders, and everyone else, anybody has sex with or has any kind of affair with a made man's wife, daughter, sister, whatever, uh, it's an automatic death penalty, period. So, you know, that's ridiculous to begin with. I know John A. Light likes to say he was so powerful and so loved by Gotti Sr. that, um, you know, Gotti Sr. let him get away with certain things he wouldn't let uh, most people get away with. That's nonsense. We have no proof that Gotti Sr. even knew A. Light, and uh, we have no proof for a good reason because there simply isn't any. He didn't have uh, a close relationship with Gotti Sr. You can't even find a picture of the two of them together. You know, the Ravenite video has been explained. We know why he was at the Ravenite that night, and it was, you know, simply because he was dropping off money to John Gotti Jr. That's it. Um, but, you know, there's that, first of all. You know, you're claiming to have an affair with a made man's wife and, you know, the boss's daughter. Ridiculous. And on top of it, Victoria Gotti took uh, a lie detector test, a, a polygraph, and passed it. That she didn't have any kind of affair with John A. Light at any point in time. You know, then he brought in Angel Gotti. Now, he's, he talks about Angel Gotti constantly. He's bashing her. He body shames her. He says all kinds of ridiculous things about her. And then he cries about how she's picking on him, which is hilarious because, you know, he never misses an opportunity to talk shit about a member of the Gotti family, um, especially Angel. So he brought her into it as well. So that's not just, you know, John Gotti Jr.'s son, he's, he's already brought two of uh, John Gotti Jr.'s sisters into this, and John Gotti Sr.'s daughters. He, um, he now has brought, you know, John Gotti Jr.'s son into it, as we've said already. So that's three family members. Then, you know, he he talks about Sr. For years, he talked about Sr. like he was a nobody and a nothing, and he wasn't a, a, a real gangster, and he never used a gun. And, you know, so he, he goes on to bash John Gotti Jr.'s father as well, because his real beef is with John Gotti Jr., at least it's supposed to be. Now, this is the kind of stuff you get from a guy like A-Light, because like I said last night, he has no class, no decency, and he has no real morals or principles in life that he lives by at all. You know, he has the balls to say he taught uh, wise guys about Cosa Nostra, which is already absurd. But, you know, he doesn't live by any rules, no less the rules of Cosa Nostra. 
He has no uh, boundaries whatsoever. He sets no limits. Um, he's a cornered rat, and he likes to go after anybody he can to try to benefit himself in any way possible. And you got to remember, uh, what really makes this a case of just adding insult to injury is A-Light testified against John Gotti Jr. Okay, John Gotti Jr. was facing the death penalty. And, or could have been. And A-Light testified against him. But that wasn't good enough for A-Light. He has to then go on to make a book called Gotti's Rules where they use John Gotti Jr.'s picture and they pretty much fooled a whole lot of people into thinking this is a, a Gotti book and not an A-Light book. You know, so a lot of people were pissed off about that. Um, I believe even Mob Rats Exposed said he bought that book, uh, you know, under the impression that it was, it was a gaudy book. Um, so, you know, he does that. And with that, he starts to build a name, an image, a reputation, and a career off of the gaudy name. Okay, that's what he did. And that's what he still does till this day. He can't say three sentences without the name Gotti in it. Um, and this is all the things, you know, that when he says stuff like Angel is picking on him, I mean, you know, you 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 testify against the man, you 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 try to get him the death penalty, you um you betray him in every way possible. Then you build a name off of, uh, you know, this other man's name, life, and reputation. And then on top of it, you come out and bash his entire family, okay? Even his sisters. So where do you get the nerve? Where do you get the balls to try to say somebody's picking on you? Okay, you are a, a, a villain in these people's lives. You're a curse on their existence. I mean, they have to spend who knows how long now uh, thinking about you and what kind of bullshit, slander, lies you're putting out about them. Each and every one of them. Um, it's so despicable and such a low blow, you know, and, and, and like I said, it's such an addition of insult to injury. <laughs> Like, for you to say uh, all these things about the family after you already did what you did. Um, if John Gotti Jr. was in a different place at a different time, uh, you wouldn't even be walking the earth anymore. But you can't even take that and say, hey, you know, I got lucky. I got away with testifying against the guy and, you know, uh, backstabbing him and, and 200 other people uh, that you put in prison or testified against. You can't just walk away, you know, uh, with some sort of humility and say, you know, look, I, I got away with murder, first of all, because I became a rat and I did what I did. But also, I, you know, I got away with, with doing this, with doing something that would usually get you the death penalty. Um, you know, you have to add that insult to injury. You have to kick a man while he's down because that's what cowards do. They kick a guy while he's down. And, you know, now your entire life mission is to bash the Gotti family uh, with the purpose of making a name for yourself or keeping yourself relevant. And that's why you keep adding to the story and talking about, you know, um, uh, you know, upping your, your, trying to raise your status and your image and rewrite history and say you were something you're not. And, you know, after years of saying, you know, John Gotti Sr. Was, was basically nothing. Yeah, he was feared, but he never even used a gun and he was no gangster. After years of doing that, now that you see that your, you know, your story's getting old, uh, now you got to up the ante and say, no, no, no. Actually, I was very, very close to Gotti Sr. I loved him. I slept on his couch. I, I would, he practically raised me and, um, you know, he, I, I was so close to him that I was able to get away with things that nobody else would get away with. You know, you say that you got away with shooting somebody in front of John Gotti Sr.'s house, but a couple of interviews before that, you said it was John Gotti Sr.'s mother's house. So you can't even keep your story straight because you lie so much. So, 
you know, this is why people are glad that that Sammy called you out on a little something because you deserve it. You deserve to be called out every day until you stop lying and you stop your bullshit, which you can't now because you're so invested in these lies that you have to stick to them. Because if you ever admit, you know, that you lied about one thing, then even the people that follow you are going to realize you've been lying about everything. Most of us already know that. Most of us, you know, people who, who aren't your, your diehard fans or who don't give two shits about you, we already know that most of what you say is a lie. You know, you said yourself that you take a little bit of truth, you add a bunch of lies, you kind of spin it into your own story, and that's what you put out there. And that's, you know, that's what you did in court, and that's what you're doing now. So, you know, you're burning bridges on top of that because Sammy, you know, you were lucky enough to have Sammy, for some odd reason, come out and lie and say some good things about you on tape when we all know that Sammy didn't even know you because he'd already said that before. But, you know, now you went at Sammy, too, <clears throat> and bashed him in the Stephen Gillen interview. And, um, you know, you even burned that bridge. Because, like I said, you know no boundaries. You know, you don't know where to draw the line. So, this is what happens now. Um, you're going to be exposed. And um, guys like me are going to be the ones to expose you. So... Uh, that's it, everyone. I just wanted to put that out there and add that uh, to it, uh, to, to the video I made last night. Because these are things I was thinking about after I made the video and this morning when I woke up and I saw everybody's reaction. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, I'll leave it at that for now. Who knows? I might come back with more. I don't know. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens in the future or what your response is going to be because knowing you you're going to have to come out with some sort of response to this video and try to save face which you know you can't do there's only a handful of people out there who really believe anything you say anymore so that's it guys um thanks for everything thank you to all my new subscribers i hope you find my channel interesting and you enjoy my content and um <clears throat> i'm going to keep coming with different stuff some of my own stuff um some more stuff like this i never get tired of uh you know exposing a light and uh please like this video subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you guys next time have a great day salute